is live radio productions. When you do, and if we are simulcasting the broadcast on Twitch, join us in-game on location to receive a Shroud of the Avatar Gacha streamer bundle. Check our full programming schedule at avatarsradio.rocks slash schedule. In local news, it's almost summertime and the tea is steeping. On June 23rd, 2024, at 1pm Pacific Time, Lilybird will host a green tea party. Enjoy tea, cake and cupcakes. Riddles with prizes will be presented and comfy chairs will be available for relaxation and naps. The location will be announced soon. The R125 Fishing Tournament, hosted by Regicel and Governor Diablatine, runs from April 26 to May 29, 2024. Anglers aim to catch the longest fish in various designated zones. Towns or adventure zones wishing to join must pay a 500 kotos fee, contributing to the prize pool. The main competition area is Regicel, but additional spots can be registered if they match the tournament's water type. All donations received are allocated to future tournaments. For full details, visit the official Shroud of the Avatar forums. The Lightbringer Isle auction occurs monthly on the last Sunday of the month at 9am Pacific Time. Sellers can submit items to Hem New Lightbringer via Discord, the auction house or mail, including a starting bid and optional reserve price. Items must be delivered by the preceding Friday, with a 10% sales commission applied. Payments are made to sellers within 48 hours of the auction. Buyers face penalties for non-payment. All participants must maintain respect and fairness with no price debates. Haven Ridge hosts a fishing event until May 31. Anglers can win various prizes across categories. The grand prize for the largest combined lava and saltwater fish is a thousand kotos, a hundred thousand gold and a gold lava fishing trophy. Other rewards include 500 kotos and 50,000 gold for the biggest lava fish and 250 kotos plus 25,000 gold for the largest saltwater fish. The smallest combined catch earns a trophy and 10,000 gold. The event, located near Kosh Summers Estates, features prizes on display at Haven Ridge and is restricted to saltwater fishing. Morgan also announces a PvP event on September 3 at 2pm Pacific, centred around a newly discovered mysterious mine on a small island. If 10 adventurers gather, the mine reopens for exploration to collect scattered bounty slips. A PvP safe zone exists at the entrance, with a paramedic available for revivals. Participants are expected to honour the safe zone rules. Results and refreshments will be at the Music Hall, where trophies, kotos and miners' bags await winners. Avatars Radio is chaotic community radio. That means you can have your town, shop, guild or other event announcements aired during News on the Air at no charge. Post your announcements on the official Shroud of the Avatar Player Events Forum section at www.shroudoftheavatar.com slash forum. If you have an exciting news scoop, contact us on Discord. Please note that this program lasts only 10 minutes, so we can't guarantee that your event will air. Have no fear, however. Join the Avatars Radio Patreon to advertise or to ensure your event announcements are aired regularly, up to 24 times daily. Visit avatarsradio.rocks slash patron for details. In multiverse news, Atari has acquired the Intellivision console brand and over 200 games, ending a decades-long rivalry that sparked in the late 1970s. Intellivision was launched in 1979 by Mattel, an American multinational toy manufacturing and entertainment company. It was a major competitor to Atari's 2600 console, sparking the first real console war. Atari's new acquisition excludes the troubled Amico console, which remains with Intellivision Envision 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 Entertainment, but will be rebranded. Atari plans to expand Intellivision Games' digital and physical distribution and create new titles. Atari CEO Wade Rosen calls it a unique chance to unite former rivals and their fans. To celebrate, Atari is launching new Intellivision t-shirts and other merchandise. Mary Bell Kirshner, or Belle Delphine to her fans, is known for her viral 2019 Gamer Girl Bathwater stunt. In a recent post, she shared that she's finally received her earnings for her bathwater sales from PayPal four years later. 
Delphine, a cosplayer and adult-only fans creator, sold jars of her bathwater for $30 each, making $90,000. However, PayPal froze her account, citing policy violations, and kept her money. After Delphine tweeted about it recently, and media outlets inquired, PayPal returned her funds. Delphine noted that her social media popularity and influence played a crucial role in resolving the issue, highlighting the challenge.